Hello, my name is Johan Falk. I'm a math and physics teacher at, in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm going to show you some crazy ideas I've ha I have about uh, scripts for sharing files in Google Drive. You might already have heard of a script called Doctopus, which is great for uh, sharing files for assignments with your students. Uh, you can do um, basically one-time sharing with students, copy out files to them, and you can make them editable or commentable. And then after a certain amount of time, you can um, remove the editing rights for students. And you can also use uh, the Gubric script to, uh, um, to uh, grade uh, assignments students ha has uh, completed. And that's all very good. But I'm looking for something you can use to share files continuously with uh, students or with colleagues and so on. And then you might have heard of GClass folders, which is a pretty cool script, a large script, used for sh uh, setting up um, folders and files and sharing stuff for, for your school. And I think this looks really well. Unfortunately, it has some problems when uh, using it, uh, being used in a Swedish browser. So I'm not really sure that it's possible to use uh, at my school here in Sweden for some in foreseeable time. Um, and also I have some ideas which I want to share anyway because I think I found uh, some, some good ideas that can be used. So I'm going to show you that. Um, something I called contact folders. I've started writing a script and it basically builds on using contacts uh, to share files, using uh, information in, in Google contacts. And the uh, good thing with that is that different scripts can use the same information, use the same folders to share files and read files and, and do things. Uh, and that's kind of useful because then small scripts can hook into this system and, and share files with it. Um, so, what does this do then? Well, let's see, here's a contact. This is me, my, my private email and things. You can see down here some custom fields have been added. These are IDs uh, or keys for folders that are shared from, well, the, the account I'm using here. This is my uh, school account. And let's actually see why not here. Um, this script, the contact folder script, uh, will create folders for contacts, put in the contact folders all here, one for each contact that you actually share something with. It doesn't set up all the, the folders at once if you don't want to, uh, only the ones you're using. So here is a folder shared with my private email and I have an editable folder here but not um, a viewable folder because that's um, uh, I haven't shared anything with view permission only. And so I'm going to show you how this looks and what it, uh, how it does this. This script consists of, well, two files. There's a third file as well, which only const contains stubs for a, a user interface. There's a core file with some functions that are only called uh, by other functions. The, uh, these functions do all the heavy lifting, creating folders and, and doing things. And there is a development file as well with some develop development functions. One of them is accessible from this menu that you get if you copy this document. You can get this document from this address by the way. tinyurl.com slash contact folders hyphen alpha one. Anyways, so uh, this function here contact folders devel is uh, called from the menu and I have included two examples here, two examples here. Example one is sharing a file with a contact, and then you load a contact using the contacts app uh, in any method you like. For example, loading with uh, email or name or or something. Let's actually put my name here, Johan at theconnexus.com. There. And and that's a, a good thing here. You can use any method you like because uh, well, there are a lot of ways of getting contacts from the contacts app. Uh, then you call a function called get contact folder and for one contact and tell uh, this function what kind of folder you're looking for. A viewable, let's actually see here, 
we have three different folders we have a viewable folder we have an editable folder and then there's a wrapper folder which these two folders are put in and this might not be the best structure of, of having well the best best way of structuring folders if you have ideas for how it should be done then uh, please tell me because I'm interested to learn uh, oh, where am I here? So, if this folder doesn't exist, it's created and then returned. And the data about this folder, where, where it is found, is stored on the contact itself. Uh, then you can get a file in some way, uh, for example, a docs list, pop up thing, select a file or many files, and then you can do stuff with this file. For example, add to a folder. And let's actually try this. To see if it works. It should work, but I've been messing around a bit here, so we'll see. Contact folders run. Now we should get a new folder here that is only viewable. Yes, and it's here. Ta -da! And we copied over a document called delete here, uh, which is actually the same document that exists here in the editable folder. Uh, and this is shared with my private uh, account with. Uh, with this account called Johan Falk. And you can see here it's shared from someone as well, which is kind of good information for, for the other account to you know. Okay, so that, that's kind of useful. It's kind of easy to use. This get contact folder, not very difficult. And uh, you could also use this on groups, entire groups, which is, I think, kind of useful because the contacts functionality in Google uh, allows creating groups and then it would make sense to like have your classes as groups or your colleagues as groups and, and things and you can share with an entire group. Now let's actually try this. I hope I didn't destroy anything before. This uh, group is called test group. Let's, let's actually create a new one to make sure that this uh, works. I'm going to call it test group like that and now come on am I not in the test group uh, yeah all right test group um, uh, but it doesn't contain anything but you can see here the the viewable key the key for the viewable folder is here now it's been stored yeah and I'm in the test group as well so let's try this here uh, Second example in the development folder. Da -da 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 -da. This is not very complicated, but it's kind of useful. So I'm getting a group, loading it in some way. There are a few different methods of getting them, for example, by name test group. And then I get the group folder, uh, which will create a group folder if there isn't one already and then add all the members of the group that have any any folders so since i'm well this johan falk here is a part of the test group these two folders will be added into the test group and that's kind of useful let's see uh, then you can grab a file you can get all the contacts in the group iterate through the contacts and in this case uh, copy out uh, the file to uh, to these contacts. And let's try this here. I don't know if you can hear the rain outside. It's really pouring down now. So let's do this. And now this contact folders groups gets a test group. In the test group, we should have. We should have. We should have. Yes, you want Falk. Now, there's a problem here because uh, people at uh, the school, staff at school, might think that these, uh, when they use this script, might think that, well, now Johan Falk isn't really a part of the test group any longer, he's not in my class or something, and they delete this folder. This is actually the very same folder as the one found here. So, uh, if you delete one, you delete both, and that's, uh, that will cause problems and questions and confusion. And I haven't found a way of solving that, and if you have any idea, ID, I'd be happy to listen. Uh, anyways, these are my thoughts on how, to, how you could share 
files and folders in a kind of efficient way and allow different scripts of, of using the same folders in an easy way. Um, yeah, one more thing. These, uh, the contacts have uh, uh, custom fields on them for these uh, folders. Uh, groups don't have fields, so we cannot store information about these folders in each group. And I didn't want to rely on naming, because you might uh, change the name of a folder or change the name of a group, and then you, you get out of sync. So instead, these are sto stored by ID as, uh, uh, as a property on the active user. Uh, Let's see if I can find that get group folder here. So I'm using a user property called contact folder groups, and that's an array or an object with a lot of entries, one entry for each group, and, and that contains the, the ID for the folder. Yeah, okay, so that's it. If you have any ideas, you're welcome to contact me. I, you can find me at johan.falk at rudbeck.se. That's my work. Uh, email and uh, yeah this document this spreadsheet can be found at as I said tinyurl.com slash contact folders hyphen alpha one uh, thank you for listening bye